Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-6327. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I had a really cool name that I completely forgot. Anyway. Item number, SCP-6327, level 5, 6327, top secret, class safe, disruption class Amida, I mean Amida. Special containment procedures, the service corridor in which SCP-6327 is installed has been sealed until further notice. Class description, SCP-6327 is a nondescript wooden door Bang of home inscribed on its surface. Oh wait, it's a door it's a door without time, or something like that. Forever here this door shall sit, a rift in reason and in rhyme. A pox on those who would, would commit a treason against the flow of time. An ink sample from the inscription corresponds with black sharpie. The inscription is smudged in several places. Discovery on January 17, 2032, SCP 6327 was found installed in a hitherto unused service corridor in Temporal Site 01, Sub Basement 09. A junior advisor to normally formed Temp Eddies, Temporal OF Disruption and Desynchronization and Intensification Inquiries Syndicate, Temp Eddies. An independent office organized in the eventual reality that significant convergence of horror paradox have inhabited research and containment and team at some point in the past, present, or future. Such an event would signify they had become compromised at some point in the past, present, or future. Thus, that are, are or will be incapable of taking the prime timeline on the Foundation's terms. SCP a 6327's discoverer sent an immediate distress beacon to the chief temporal anomalies is official, Director Dr. Lee is renders. PhD, 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 PhD. Good, that's so many PhDs for me to read it all at once. That's just weird. The load security officer or on shift remarked at a time that. Although the corridor itself does not have a camera, the stairwell to sub basement 09 does. However, no persons or entities are recorded to have entered the sub basement the week SCP 6327 appeared. This would imply it came into existence spontaneously, with no other explanation as to its appearance. This indicates an unregistered anomalous disturbance and had occurred in the single most secure foundation site on the planet. Demonstrably, the multiple evidence that it has become compromised. After receiving the beacon, the director readers place temporal site 01 under immediate and special temporal lockdown and eject the site into extra dimensional null space. This maneuver er, er, would have prevented any further anomalies from occurring, but it left the private timeline susceptible to transtemporal threats in the face of the sudden disappearance of site 01. A fact-finding investigation to SCP-6327 occurred henceforth. The fact-finding investigation promptly met an impasse. The investigators who were uniformed as to the nature of the anomaly read SCP-63's inscription and refused to proceed further, citing an OSHA breach. You are a part of a shady government organization and you are worried about OSHA? You literally have people feeding a, a D class to a, 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 a death lizard on a daily, and you're afraid of the OSHA. Okay, whatever. The junior advisor who neglected to fill out, to fill out a special criteria procedures file on the anomaly was remanded for breach of foundation protocol and placed under time lock until further notice. Present description. Duplicate information expunged. 
After the successful documentation and containment of SCP-6327, all requested paperwork, including an incident report, was completed and forwarded to the on-site RISA uh, liaison. We see we hear a lot about right, Isa. Director Reinders currently maintains complete control over the investigatory proceedings and will personally oversee experimentation. One week has now elapsed since the discovery of SCP-6327. An experimentation log as recorded in real time is as follows. Action. SCP-6327 is open. Outcome. SCP-6327 becomes a jar. A nondescript masonry wall sits behind it. Offset it into the finished space by approximately 20 centimeters. On the floor joining the wall is a single unidentifiable fruit in a state of advanced decay. A post-it note is affixed between the fruit and SCP-6327. The note reads as follows. Potential emetic. A meta hazard detected. Bureauc bureaucracy is the death of all sound work. LS. Now I think I have to explain LS and who that is. LS is a member of the Serpent's Hand. And uh, the Serpent's Hand is mostly based in the library. I forget what it was called. I think it's a Wanderer's Library. This library is actually very special in the way that it connects not only to one world, but to many different universes and uh, timelines. And LS has met herself in multiple different timelines. And because of this, she calls her other selves Lil Sister. That's what LS is short for. It's a mimetic hazard because uh, the surface hand usually deals with mostly mimetic hazards. <sighs> that was even shorter than I thought it would be. Anyway. Tracking really went off. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!